Hi, this is Javed. Welcome to 5 minute class on movement of inertia. Here I am going to cover about area moment of inertia which is widely used in bending calculations. And it should not be confused with mass moment of inertia which is used to calculate rotational inertia. So to calculate moment of inertia of lamina let us consider this lamina consists of number of elemental areas dA which are at a distance of R1, R2, R3 and so on from a reference axis. Then movement of inertia about that reference axis will be R1 square into dA plus R2 square into dA and so on. So the unit of this moment of inertia will be length to the power of 4 that means meter power 4 or inch power 4. So this is a very simple formula here the distances uh, should be perpendicular to the axis. Uh, I am not going to cover mass moment of inertia but if you see the formula of mass moment of inertia it is similar to area moment of inertia but instead of area you will have mass and everything remains same. Now let us further simplify this moment of inertia formula. Now imagine this lamina has n number of elemental areas which are at a distance of k from the reference axis. So all the elemental areas if we arrange at the same distance of k from the reference axis if we get the same moment of inertia then that k value is known as radius of gyration so now the the moment of inertia of the lamina is very simple it's k square into a where k is the radius of gyration that can be obtained uh, from centroid of the lamina and the distance from the centroid from the re reference axis. After obtaining this moment of inertia formula, let us see some theorems about it. So first one is perpendicular axis theorem. If you know the moment of inertia of the lamina about x axis as IOX and y axis as IOY, so to, to determine the moment of inertia about z axis you just need to sum the both the perpendicular axis. So very easy to remember. The second theorem is parallel axis theorem. So if you know the moment of inertia of lamina about a reference axis AB to know the moment of inertia about of a parallel axis which is at a distance of y then uh, the moment of inertia will be IAB plus AY square. Remember uh, this formula also to calculate the moment of inertia of a new axis which is parallel to the uh, known axis moment of inertia. Now we will see a simple example to calculate the moment of inertia of a rectangular plate having uh, width B and height H. To calculate the moment of inertia about uh, axis x axis, let us consider a small strip of elemental area B into dy, which is at a distance of y. So, from the moment of inertia formula, it is area into y square. So, B into d, dy is the area, into y square is the distance for, from the from the axis. This uh, strip we need to uh, sum it up from top to bottom that is integral minus h by 2 to plus h by 2. So if we integrate this we will get moment of inertia about x axis as bh cube by 12 and uh, from the parallel axis theorem we can also get moment of inertia about the base as bh cube by 3. So you can see the moment of inertia of base is more than the centroidal uh, axis because the farther you move the moment of inertia is going to increase. Similarly, you can remember the moment of inertia of some more standard uh, laminas, circle and triangle. Thank you.